Hey guys, do you ever struggle to get your figures in just the right pose, but then as soon as you're ready to take the picture, it just won't stay up? Or do you ever have a bunch of figures on display, and then when you come home one day that you find that they all fell down because of a single figure uh, having its foot on just the wrong way? Well, stick around and I'll show you a guaranteed way to make sure that your figures stay standing. So I've been victim to this like a lot of other collectors have, where you'll have all of your different figures all lined up uh, however you want them to be. Most of them are standing, some of them may be sitting, and you know, just the one uh, slight nudge or rock or you know, your floor is slightly uneven, and then one falls and then the rest fall with them. And it's kind of a huge pain in the butt, right? Uh, how do we solve that problem? You could get a bunch of different action figure stands and have them held in place. Um, Hasbro has their official one. Uh, this one you can buy on the Hasbro Pulse website. This one also comes with, I believe, a Black Widow figure. And it's a good stand, but when you're trying to have a bunch of figures all together, then, um, you know, just a few of these will be just too many already, right? So what can we do? Well, there is a product that you can purchase called Museum Wax. And uh, this is a really interesting and neat material, and you can buy this on Amazon. I'll have a link below. So this material is very um, interesting. So it is a waxy material, I mean, that's the name. Uh, it does come with this little star-shaped piece of wood, but this broke fairly quickly for me, so um, I'm just going to ignore that. And so what you do is you're supposed to take some of this and you put it on the underside of whatever thing that you're trying to uh, have put in place. In our case, we would want to um, hold up an uh, iron spider, right? And then uh, you put it uh, where you want it, you place it down, boom, you're done. And so what I want to show you uh, right now is that um, I've had this venom adhered with both feet um, with the museum wax for I think two or three months now. I had a Spider-Man figure here and I had just one foot down and then one foot at um, kind of an angle, sort of a slightly running pose. If I have the picture, I'll post it up right now. And uh, the experiment was to see if it could, uh, if it would fully hold a figure um, that was uh, even partially balanced. And I can tell you right now that no, it won't. So as long as your figure is able to stand on its own, even if it's um, brief, uh, then uh, the museum wax will hold it in place uh, pretty much indefinitely, um, barring something really pushing it off or you ripping it off. And so you can see that this venom is being held uh, just fine in place. And um, really that's, uh, I chose this venom because he's so big um, that I figured it'd be a really good test. And uh, so this bit of wax I left out because I wanted to see what would happen uh, with uh, with how it would react to the air. Uh, I'm sure dust has probably gotten in there too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw Iron Spider right on top of where it was. And it looks like it's still holding fine. Obviously it would be better with both feet um, put down, but one is totally sufficient. And so uh, what I wanna do is show and explain that uh, the concern I have with the museum wax is that this can absorb into uh, your your skin if you use your skin. It is weird because it does say that it wants you to need soft balls or uh, strips and place them where you need them to go. But when I tried it, it just kind of got absorbed into my, my fingers. And so I think that's part of why that they uh, include the uh, the little star shaped piece of wood. But I would actually recommend picking up a couple of these um, metal spatula like things. I'll have links for um, similar ones uh, in the description as well. Because with this, you should be able to just kind of pick up however much you need and then put it on your, your figure. So uh, the thing too is that these this stuff is supposed to be reusable. And so I'm gonna just uh, scrape off whatever's attached here. And just put it back in there. Same thing for the amount that's here. So obviously I'm not gonna be able to save all of it. So th this is, uh, you can see it, that's where it uh, it was. I'm gonna just wipe it away. And you can see that it's it's gone and has no 
residue left over. And we'll show you the iron spider foot. I got off what I could, and then I'm just gonna wipe the rest of it off. No residue left over. Well, maybe a little bit in the peg hole, but nothing that I'm worried about. It's, it's not gonna be acidic or anything, so it's not gonna ruin the figure. And it does a great job holding. You know, again, this is this is going to be fine. So even in a mild earthquake, uh, your figure should hold up just fine as well. Um, and then let's go ahead and pull uh, this off, uh, this venom off as well and um, scrape the rest of it off. And so uh, this board is actually uh, part of an Ikea shelf. And I chose this specifically because so many collectors are using a very similar shelf already. Um, Glass will work perfectly fine, if not better than this. Um, but because this is so common, I figured this would be um, a great one uh, to, sh to use as an example. So I'm going to just pull Venom off. You can see how much I used. Uh, you can see his feet, uh, how much is covered up on there. And then looking at the, the shelf itself, you can see how much I used. Now I had to use quite a bit um, for Venom because you can see the... Uh, the way the foot is, is that there's a bit of an indentation. So I kind of needed more in there than I would with an another figure that's more flat. So my plan is just, uh, again, same thing. I'm just going to scrape up what I can so I can reuse it. And it's not even just to like uh, save inside of the canister if I uh, want to. It's possible that you place it and then you decide, actually, I want to move it somewhere else. So, you know, you don't want to just you know, wipe away perfectly usable museum wax if you don't have to, right? And I'm going to wipe Venom's feet first. So again, that's what his feet look like with leftover wax. And there we go. His feet look Totally fine. And we'll wipe up the rest from here. So I'm going to just wipe. Wipe. And there you have it. So nothing left over. So I think this is awesome. I think this is the way to go, especially if you have a ton of figures um, in your shelf. That way you don't have to worry about one, you know, tipping the rest of them over and domino effect. And it's just, you know, a big pain in the butt to deal with. So again, uh, this is uh, museum wax. Uh, that's literally the, the name of the product itself. And I believe this is a two ounce bottle. Bought this on Amazon for about six bucks. And I think this is uh, a great uh, a great product for uh, what we're able to use it for. So I highly recommend using museum wax. I think it's going to go a long way uh, with keeping your figure standing uh, strong. And if you're looking for more figures to get, then please check out my Black Panther video over here.